Hi guys and welcome back to this course. Um, now we're gonna go over uh, the arrangement of this track. So uh, what I always start to do when I want to arrange uh, is to have the song arranged like like every, you, you want to have every single track like like here, but in the beginning here. Um, so say for instance that we have our track and idea laid out uh, and we want, want it to be like, like this so we can just move this over to the side like for instance here and not have it in the beginning and just copy over stuff to the beginning um, and to here and to here and to all other um, arrangement uh, markers for instance the break or the second drop um, so that is the best thing you can do when you arrange, just to arrange fast, you know, just to copy sounds over and make a, a basic arrangement, um, like I did here. Uh, this is maybe more than basic. Uh, it's not finished, but it's not either basic too. So, um, so that is one thing that you need to think about to just make fast arrangement that is not perfect uh, it may not even sound good um, you just have to arrange the track the fast as you can and then build on elements when you have the basic arrangement of the track um, and to make it even easier I always do the arrangement markers as I showed you before um, in this track I don't know why it's messed up but I'm gonna do a different arrangement today so I'm gonna go for 16 bars intro, then a small break in the beginning, just a four bar break there, and the first drop like that, and then I want another break, so let's press there. No, I want great marker. All right, so I have the other marker here now. Yeah, it's creating markers in the beginning, as you can see. Um, so I had it 16 bars. Like that. Now I have the drop the break drop should be like that all right so now we have the second break here break two it's a pretty long break then let's see here Then we basically have the drop number two here. Or we can do it like this even. Um, let's have it like this. And we want to call this build up because it's a pretty long build up section to the second drop. So I just wanna, uh, I just want to separate them two from so so it's not like super long break. Uh, yeah, we don't have to do this, you know. It's just to to make things easier. And for me, I like to have stuff laid out for me uh, like graphically to um, build a track and to get motivated and st stay focused on um, making the track itself not to just uh, uh, feel like I have a, um, um, not just like having to be creative all the time and then just get bored because you can't be creative all the time so it's very good to um, to have stuff 
to make this kind of stuff and keep organized being or organized and then when you're when you're organized it's clean it's a lot easier and a lot more fun to work along and work more with the track so that's why yeah, i'm gonna color code these things um like this let's go for this i think that's good just to separate them so now i have have them color coded like this and i'm gonna go and because i i did my um basic arrangement here um so i don't have to copy stuff but when you're when you just have your track this long and you just have sounds laid out like this you know like all, all of the sounds and you don't have any intro or, or anything just do the the thing that i told you before just to take all of your stuff move them around here and just take out stuff and start to copying them to the intro and build on stuff um, and then to the break bring out some other elements and then to the first drop bring in the main elements and so on um, and the best uh, thing you can do here to to know how to arrange them the proper way because I don't arrange like this every time uh, this is just for this track and I may arrange uh, in a different way for another track but for in the most cases I arrange pretty similar uh, and that's just because I took uh, a song or like different songs many songs and just analyzed the arrangements of the songs uh, and you can just do it by copying over a song um, to to logic basically and just analyze the waveform and see how it's uh, arranged like how where's the intro where's the break where's the drop and just copy the arrangement just copy the whole arrangement just copy where, exactly where the intro is where the drop is where the break is and then when you have the arrangement markers here uh, that you copied from another track it's so easy to just copy them co copy the regions over so you know where to uh, set all the stuff and where to arrange uh, so that that way it will it will work a lot faster than just figuring out where stuff should be and be unsure about that and and you will have to do stuff over and over again because you don't you're not sure if if the drop should be here or here or the break should be here or how many breaks or one or two um, so that's a very good thing to do um, All right, so first of all, I'm gonna name all these tracks and color code them um, because this is not organized at all. It's arranged, but not organized. Um, so let's go for the first side chain. I always have this in my starting template. So it's arranged, I mean, it's organized. It's side chain SC here named, uh, and I have a kind of pinkish uh, color to this. Uh, kick back to it's blue sure low kick the the most important here is to name the tracks and i always name my tracks in upper cases all of them uh, just because it looks so much cleaner to me uh, rather than have it like this you know so just with the upper cases here like in this track but all of them uh, that looks uh, so much better to me uh, you don't have to do this as I told you, but um, it, it I like it to do it that way. Uh, so I just name the tracks, tracks as you can see, um, bass, bass obviously, but this, yeah, this is the main lead. Uh, let's name the regions too. I have a key command as you saw there um, it's alt shift n uh, I think it's the same in default uh, in the default settings in logic 
but uh, it may be different. So you can just go up to Logic Pro and key commands and edit here and you will find the um, name regions by track. You search on that, um, I can show you, just edit name regions by track. And here we have it, Shift, uh, Alt, Shift, N. So you can just learn by key label and do the same thing if it's not assigned uh, in your computer. Um, okay, so I have it like that. Let's color code this. Base will be brown. Um, okay, this is... Yeah, this is... Let's call it BD base, like background base. Um, you have to select them all, that, and color code them a bit different brown. Um, just just so I can separate the tracks, so I know where stuff is. Because if everything is in green and blue, that's gonna be hard for me to see exactly like this is this track and this is another track. Uh, some guys do coloring like uh, all of the bass channels in brown and all of the drums in some color, I don't know. Um, but I like to do different colors for different channels. Um, not like super different, but like another shade, shade of brown here. Um, but if, for instance, in FXS, I will still use one color because I use a lot of effect effects in my tracks. That will be, I will have to use all of the color palette for that. So um, let's go for next instrument. Okay, light bass. Um, that and this, and this is white noise. Yes. No, we have to. This is the reversed reverb. Uh, I'm not gonna name this because uh, you can't even see the name here because the regions are so small. Okay, mystic uh, sound. Lucky, I just named this totally random. Um, base to where all of the other bases are okay no noise layer Okay, I want this bass to be one octave lower. I did that with this section, but not with this section, so. Um, yeah, that's better. Some. All right, I'm gonna move that here too. 
to the other, other bases. I want to have the kick and bass in the beginning and then uh, the lead sounds and uh, effects and other stuff just to have them organized in the proper uh, in the proper way there. Alright, so effects this is going to be yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move all, every uh, drum sound to here. So let's move them there. And then I have this is the atmosphere sounds, this and this. So I'm gonna move them to mystic sound. And um, this Atmo, I'm gonna move them there. And this is some trumpet sound, I'm gonna move them there. And this is the uh, vocals. Just gonna move them over the effects. So I have the effects. Uh, tracks um, in the in the downside here um, just to have them just to know that the kick, it begins with a kick bass synth atmospheres drums and then effects I have it set up that way um, so let's go over the sound now let's call it trumpet Greenish. This is the Atmo Vox. Pitch. Maybe have it like more red. And drum part one, I think I'm gonna call it, because I don't have so much here, I'm just gonna call them part one. Okay, drum loop, I'll call that. And shakers. Okay, so this is going to be named and also this and I'm gonna color code them all to red this one too all right and I'm gonna uh, uh, just call this vocoder one vocoder two and vocoder three um, name them I don't need to do that with those and with fxs i just have them named like this because they have some strange names and this is just for transitions i don't necessarily need to know exactly what they do so uh, when i just have them all of them here in the lower part of the project i don't usually name them i just threw stuff in uh, this is a beat okay so this is a beat aurora beat all right 
do it like this. to the other drums and hey hey vocal to the vocals just there so now I I know where stuff is in my project um, I don't use this so I'm gonna delete that and yeah every other stuff I think I use here yeah So this is my basic arrangement, and now I'm gonna add up sounds. So let's just save this project and go to the next lecture.